Welcome to Redbeard Outdoors. My wife and I travel all over the country with our Dodge Ram 3500 Laramie Longhorn Mega Cab and our 40 foot featherlight horse trailer with living quarters. We travel with our various number of Irish setters and our three horses Biscuit, Melody, and Tara. <laughs> Point! All right, I got some leveling jacks that are typically used for RVs, but we're going to be using it for the horse trailer to stabilize it to keep it from rocking because when you have dogs in the back area where the horse stalls are and they shift around in their crates and stuff it tends to cause the horse trailer to rock hopefully this is a good solution for this to work so um let's open it up they obviously you know did a terrible shipping job it's pretty torn up so hopefully nothing's damaged if it is i'll have to send it back but um Keep my fingers crossed here that nothing's damaged. And we'll take a look at these guys. About two 5,000 pound capacity leveling jacks here. And um, the reason I went with 10,000 is the trailer empty is 10,000 and there's two jacks in the front so it should be able to disperse the weight it's not actually going to be lifting up 10,000 pounds it'll be lifting up let's call it in the ballpark of five to six thousand pounds probably even less than that so i paid about i think it was 30 bucks i'll leave a image and a price right here and um, I'll leave a link down in the description below. It comes with this manual crank, which is great and all, but I'm definitely not gonna be using that too much. Uh, here's what I will be using. All right, we're gonna be using power, guys. This is the way to go. Oh, this is gonna be nice. All right, let's lower it back down. So, I'm not sure how I'm gonna mount this yet, but I'll get to that later in this video. Um, I might mount this right up to the frame, or I'll just slide it underneath every time. I'm not really for sure yet, but these are meant to mount to the RV or trailer that you have. Let's do it one more time because it was pretty fun. Comes with some mounting screws here. Not sure how I'm going to use these yet. Give this one a test just to see if it works. This is a 24 inch scissor jack. Um, I went with 24 inches because Horse trailers don't really have that much clearance underneath anyway, so I went with the smaller ones. They also offer 30-inch uh, ones. I didn't think I would need that unless we had some uh, really weird, unlevel grounds that we're parking on. Uh, hopefully, we never run into that issue. I think what I'm going to do is attach a baseboard, like, like a piece of 2x6 uh, to this, to have a flat area that it will essentially mount to on the ground that way it doesn't sink real bad 
This will go on to the frame of the horse trailer. I'm still not sure if I'm going to screw it in. I probably will. That'll just take a lot of work. But once it's on there, you won't ever have to worry about it again, which would be nice. It'll just ride underneath. Okay, I'm looking to put some wood right here to make a flat platform. Um, most of the time we are off grid and we're not on a level platform. So we, I kind of need a wood base to kind of flatten this out and give it more um, ground stability. So I'm gonna cut uh, 12 inch cuts into this two by 10. So uh, let's uh, make our first cut here. I'm going to get the screw started beforehand. Now we have a pretty sturdy platform there. There we go. What do you guys think? This upper part right here, I'm gonna mount that to the trailer. And then this will always just be on the trailer. Uh, total weight, it's about 10 pounds. I'm gonna guess it at about 10 pounds. Okay guys, new day here. Um, do not have the scissor jacks installed yet. Um, I don't think I'm going to permanently install them to the trailer now that I have the trailer here at the house and I'm kind of looking at it a little closer. I don't think I have the ground clearance to keep them from getting broken off. So I'm going to keep them loose and once we set up camp, I'm going to just slide them under and raise them up and stabilize the trailer. So first off, I'm gonna jump in here. I'm gonna shake the trailer around and kind of give you guys a uh, show to see how much the trailer kind of shakes, especially when dogs are in it and you're trying to sleep. So let's take a look at this. Here's the bounce test. Here's the shake test. Okay, as you can see, it shakes pretty well. So let's get the uh, scissor jacks under there and see if we can stabilize this thing. Just real quick, I wanna show you. The reason I didn't put like a two by four or something up here is it has the perfect groove to go up here and be supported on that I-beam right there. So I'm going to uh, put it right there and test it out. Let's see how that goes. So I'm using a three quarter inch socket. I'm gonna raise her up. Not supported yet, but like I said, it fits right in there. So let's raise it up just a little bit and get it supported. All right, pretty snug now. Let's go do the other side. Unfortunately, I can't do this side like I did the other one. So I'm just gonna do it like this um, because this retaining wall is in the way over here. So I'm gonna do this one sideways. Um, I normally won't have this issue, but I'll just uh, set that metal plate up on the I-beam there. All right, she's secure, so let's go do the test. Okay. Let's get this test underway, see how much she shakes now. The reason she shakes so much, just so you guys know, it's pretty obvious the suspension on the trailer makes it shake quite a bit. So this will work for a camper or a horse trailer, just so you know. Um, let's test it out, see how it goes.
can't bounce it at all anymore but you can shake it a little bit but I have to really shake it hard to do anything it takes a lot of effort so I think this is gonna be huge when it comes to wind blowing animals in the back people up moving around while other people are trying to sleep um, there's a lot that goes on especially at field trials where people are in and out of the trailer I think this is gonna do wonders so if you guys found this useful as always please hit that like button leave a comment down below if you have any questions and as always make sure you're subscribed and I will see you guys on the next Redbeard Outdoors episode remember get outdoors thanks for watching Thank you.